Hey everybody, what's up? Halo2Freak here for the Elder Scrolls Wiki. Welcome to the video tutorial accompanying my uh, Ooh Shiny blog post, uh, part two. Um, one of my readers said that she was having some trouble following along, so I decided I would make a video tutorial, um, make things a little easier. So I'm going to show you how to do what I did. Um, starting from the beginning. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do, you're going to need the creation kit and Photoshop. Now, I use Photoshop CS5, but like I say in the uh, the blog post, it's relatively simple. You should be able to follow along in older versions of Photoshop. Uh, so, let's get started. Um, you're going to want to load up update.esm and skyrim.esm and uh, hit OK. Now, this is a really long process, so I'm actually going to pause the video. I'm not even, in a, not even a minute in. I'm already pausing the video. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pause it until it's all loaded up and ready to go. But these are the two that you want. Alrighty, so we've got our uh, ESM files loaded up. Um, so here we go. What we're going to do, we're going to twirl down actors and then actor. And that's going to load a list of uh, all the actors, all the uh, non-player characters in the game. Um, and uh, find the one that you want. I'll use Ayala because... She's my favorite. Um, you're going to hit preview. And that's going to bring up the preview dialog. It's a nice shot. Um, use the left mouse button. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that most of you guys know how to operate the creation kit, but I'm, you know, just cooking for dummies. Um, left mouse button to rotate. Click the middle mouse button to move around and scroll to zoom in and out. Now, you might notice that I, my zoom and move is very slow. Um, right click anywhere inside the preview window here and it'll bring up your preferences and uh, I lowered down my zoom speed to 0 0.02 and my pan speed to 0 0.01 and that allows me to get it into perfect position um, so go ahead and set it up however you want arrange your uh, your character however you want and then you're gonna want to go down here into the uh, animations list and the one that you're going to want is called MT Idle Nervous. So MT underscore Idle. Oh, look what I've done. For some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason, the MT Idle animation itself doesn't actually want to load for me. Uh, you might have better luck if you can load it, use it, or use whatever you want. But I'm going to go ahead and do uh, MT Idle Nervous. And uh, that's basically just an idle standing there doing nothing animation. Um, so with that, I'm going to get her zoomed in and moved into position. And what I want to do, I also want to turn off the ground plane, by the way. Um, that's important. But what I want to do is I want to make sure that no part of her body is being cut off by the borders of the preview window. Um, so once I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot. Now, if you've read all the way through the tutorial, you saw the link at the ends to the program that I've written um, that I feel makes it a lot easier to take screenshots. Um, but it's just a simple little program. You've got a, a bounding box here, and you just set it up, and you align it. And of course, I cut it really close for this one. And of course, the handles are gray, which makes it hard to tell where they are. Um, but set it up and take your screenshot, and I'm just going to hit F3 to copy it to my clipboard. And then uh, I'll close that down. Now, if you don't want to download the program, that's cool, I understand. Um, uh, you can hit uh, print screen. It, uh, it'll do the same thing. Um, so what I'm going to do, just to demonstrate, I'm just going to go ahead and hit, uh, I'm going to hold Alt and hit print screen while the preview window is selected. And uh, what that's going to do is that's going to take a screenshot of just the preview window instead of my whole screen. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then uh, I'm going to switch to Photoshop over here. And I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to hit File New. And the uh, width and height are already filled out with the size of the screenshot or the size of the clipboard data. And I'll go ahead and paste that in. Now, the advantage of using my program is that 
the bounds right there is what the screenshot would have been. So I won't have, I wouldn't have had to do this step that I have to do right now. Um, and I, I actually went ahead and messed it up. Um, but essentially what you would do, you would hit, you would hit print screen and then you're just going to want to cut a box around your character. Um, the reason that's not going to work is because my program is overlapping Ayala's head. So I'll hop, I'll hop back to the creation kit, I'll get my screenshot program back, and I'll take a screenshot that way. Um, so just hit F3, take a screenshot, copy the clipboard, and uh, whip back over to Photoshop here. Don't need this anymore. So I'll just paste in my screenshot there, and I want to make sure, this is important, that I haven't accidentally overlapped uh, the preview window, which you can see here with the top two pixels that I have overlapped the preview window. So I'll just go ahead and cut this out. Oh, that is going way too slow for me. I'll cut it out and I'll make sure to exclude those top two pixels um, because they're not this solid gray color, they're a different shade of gray. Um, so I'll cut that out and then I'll hit image crop and this is the same thing that you would do if you had taken a screenshot. You would cut out a square making sure to include all portions of the screenshot, not cutting anything off and then just hit image crop and that's going to get rid of any, of any extra bits that you don't want. Um, so uh, we're, we're about halfway done now. I've managed to make two, two minutes into five already. Uh, so anyway, continuing on. Get your, uh, your selection tool here, or your color picker, and grab this color. And it's, uh, it's half gray. It's 127, 127, 127. And um, select your fill tool. Fill tool. I can't talk. And uh, create a new layer like I just did here. Fill it with gray, and then drop it down below so that you've got your screenshot layer and then your solid gray color layer. Select the top layer, the screenshot layer, and set it the transfer mode to difference. And that's going to make something that just looks really bad. But that's what you want. Now, create a duplicate of your screenshot layer and drag it to the bottom of the list. Merge the top layer with the second layer. And then hit uh, Control A and Control C to copy that image. Now make a new image, a new uh, document, and set the uh, color mode to grayscale, and then just hit OK, because it's already got the right width and height, and paste it in. And uh, now it doesn't look so bad, it just looks inverted, um, but that's fine. Go ahead and Go to uh, Image, Adjustments, and Levels, or you can hit Control L, and drag this uh, right handle all the way to the left, giving you a mostly perfectly white image. Um, and I say mostly because there are some bits in here that you'll need to fill in with white. So just go ahead and uh, change your main color to white, grab the pencil tool, and just draw those colors in. Ultimately, the end result is going to be anything that's white is going to show up transparent uh, back in the main screenshot. So you want to make sure that you're not uh, coloring any white over here because you don't want any of that to show. That'll make that gray background show through. Um, so go ahead and hit that with white and make sure all your holes are filled in and I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist, so probably going to do too good of a job, take too much time on this, but that's whatever. You can fast forward through this. Okay, I think I've filled all the holes now. Nope, now I've filled all the holes. Okay, good. So, now I've got my uh, solid white and black. Um, and it's a grayscale image, which means that we can set it as an alpha channel, which is exactly what, what we're going to do. So hit Control A to select all, and Control C to copy, and switch back to your first image. 
Now you can delete this ugly layer. You don't want that. Um, go back to your, uh, your main screenshot. Go into the Channels tab and hit the New Layer button down here. And then hit Control V and that's going to paste in that black and white image that you just made over here. And you can close this as well because we're done with it. Now hit Control and click the preview image for the alpha channel, the preview thumbnail. Go back to the layers uh, tab, select your layer, and then hit the new layer mask, or the add layer mask button. Hit that, and like magic, everything that was white in this alpha channel will, show th will be opaque, and everything that's black will be transparent. And that's exactly what we wanted. So at this point, you could call it good and be done. Um, but uh, I can't help but notice that these edges are kind of jagged and hard. And uh, being a fan of quality, if there's anything I can do about that, I will. And luckily in this situation, there is. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and uh, hold control and click on this layer mask thumbnail here, which is going to select it. And then uh, click select up top. Click Modify and Feather, and Feather it by 1. Now, Control shift i or Select, and where is it? Inverse. And that's going to invert the selection, and then hit the Delete key once. And what that's going to do is that's going to delete some of the softened pixels around the edge of the render, the, around the edge of the cutout. Um, what you did by feathering is that it, feathering the selection is you spread it out a little bit and you smoothed it. And when you delete those pixels, it just deletes the hard edge, but it doesn't really actually get rid of anything. It just smooths it. Um, so now, you know, it's not perfect, but it's much better than it was before. And uh, you've got a decent look and render here that I overcomplicated, but uh, you know, ultimately it'll take you about two minutes. Um, once you get used to the process. So, I mean, the next step is to save this. You, I, mean, like, I like to uh, do image trim, trim transparent pixels, and make sure you've got top left, right, and bottom selected. Transparent pixels, hit OK, and that does exactly what it sounds like. It trims them. And then I just like to uh, make my images all a standard size. So my height is, is 828. So I'll change that to 800. And then I'll pad the canvas size a little bit just to make it a, a little easier to look at um, so that it doesn't stretch the page on the wiki at all. I'll actually go ahead and make that 600 so it's 3 quarters. Um, it doesn't stretch the page on the wiki when you, uh, when you upload this. So anyway, there you have it. Um, hopefully a video tutorial was a little bit easier to follow along with despite the fact that I seem to uh, overcomplicate everything. But uh, anyway, if you have any questions, um, post them in the comments of this video or follow the link in the description to the blog post on the Elder Scrolls Wiki and leave a comment there. Um, either way, hopefully I will see it and uh, I'll be able to help you out. But uh, thanks for watching and subscribe and all that junk if you want to.